how do you feel when you're 31? You're like, you're, you're invincible, you got your whole life ahead of you, lying on the bed in the hospital thinking, man, this is not part of, uh, of the plan. Me for your story, man. Probably about two years ago, I got blindsided by testicular cancer. Yeah, I thought it was just a bit of a rugby accident, a bit of a bruise, what I, what I thought was a bruise. And, um, so you didn't check it out or nothing, just... I did the old Dr. Google. <laughs> and, uh, That's the worst. That was Monday, but come Friday it was it was getting progressively worse. I went to uh, the GP just to get check, get it checked yeah, out. Yeah, By it. Friday afternoon, I'd sort of been diagnosed with testicular cancer. That quick? Yeah, it was, it was pretty fast, bro. By the following Monday, having the tumour in my, my left nut removed, uh, yeah, it was all, all a bit of a whirlwind. All of that in like, Five days. Yeah, it sounded like a Craig David song. Hey, <laughs> all, all my life I wanted to have my own family. All of that was crashing down on top of me, thinking, well, you know, that's not going to be a possibility anymore. Because they do your blood tests every week. And so every it's, like, week, it's like high, isn't it? And then yeah. it start to drop. So just week after week after week, the, the markers were coming down. But come the end of the 12 weeks, um, th there were no traces of the cancer left, so I didn't need to do uh, the, the chemo. The chemo yeah. kind of retained my ability to, to have kids. Oh, I've now got my little baby girl, Havana. Um, she just turned one. It gives me a great little reminder every day that, that life is precious. Um, my fiance, she was like there by my side the whole time. So to kind of take this little miracle baby, we call her. <laughs> nice ending to the, the whole darkness of, of that experience. Yeah. It's great to meet you, man, and hear your story as well. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Love Thanks. your work. <laughs> See you later. See you.